Welcome back, YouTube. If you watched my last video, you know for a fact that training has plummeted. You know for a fact that we didn't roll very good, and these cards are super cheap right now. And you know for a fact that I'm holding on to cards. But listen, Madden giveth, and Madden taketh, right? So they already took from us, so now we're going to go back and take what's ours again. So we are going to look for cheap training right now. We are not looking to sell. We are looking to buy. We are looking to buy 95s for 100K. That's what we're looking for. 100K. If we buy 95s at 100K, that is looking at uh, 3.9 training value. We're looking at 94s for about 80K or less. 80K is 4.0. That's what we're looking for. So we're going to take a peek. We're, we're going to keep, we're going to scroll for a little bit. And we are going to try to, I don't know, we're going to try to spend about, um, I don't know. We're probably going to get, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> We'll see what it, we'll see what I get here in this little bit of time. I'm going to I'm going to snipe for just a few minutes to see what we get and then I'll be back and I'll show you what we're going to do with it. All right, we bought our training. I'll show you a little bit of what I did here. We got Lance Allworth for 80k. We're looking for 94s at 80 or less, 95s at 100k or less. You can see Troy Vincent here. This is a 95. We got him for 90k and I missed a few of them. And so I did buy one for 103. I know that's over the 100K, but, you know, when you add that in with that one, it still equals out to be lower. But you can see right here, we just got six cards. We spent 530,000 coins on that, right? So we got a total of 136,000 training. We're going to go ahead and we're going to quick sell that. The training value for that was 3.89. I, I mean, training prices right now are just low, just low. So we're going to look at doing a few different things. We're going to go. The first thing we're going to look at is, as you can see, I have all my playoff cards there. Super Bowl pass. I'm keeping them for right now. I just got a feeling they're going to go back up. I am hoping they're going to go back up anyways. And if they don't, they don't. But first thing we're going to look at is a few of these different sets. All right. So the first one we're going to look at is Team of the Year Random. Team of the Year Random. So let's take a look here. I'm going to write this down in my handy-dandy calculator. And we're going to check this out a little bit. So team of the year, right now it's 39K, right? We bought our training at 3.89. So we're going to times it by 3.89. We're looking at 151,000. We're going to times that by 1.1 for auction house. We're looking at the cards have to sell for 166,881. So we'll write that one down. Now we're going to look also at rising stars right rising star so I'm gonna write this down we're gonna go third six thousand for the set um, six thousand for the reroll times that by three point eight nine that equals one second six thousand times three point eight nine that equals twenty three thousand three hundred forty now we're gonna times that by one point one we need the things to sell for twenty five six seventy four that's that one we're also going to look at veteran. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to show you a few of them. And you can kind of make the judgment on what you want to do here. But veterans, 5,500. We're going to times that by 3.89. We're going to times that again by 1.1. It needs to be 23,534, 535 to break even. So that looks like a pretty decent roll. We also want to look at player of the week. That's 11,000. So we're looking at 11,000 times 3.89. We're looking at 42,000 times that by 1.1. We're looking at 47,069. That's what we need to sell the card for in order to break even. So now that we have those prices, we're going to go take a look at the auction house. And we're going to see what roll do we think is best now with the training prices what they are you might be surprised at the results here but we're going to go to 95 first we're going to look at team of the year and we're going to first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at it's not not a 95 they're 96s 
we are going to look at offense only first right so we're gonna look at offense only you can see right here I think people are probably trying to do this but you got 180 K let's check newest yep we don't even have the newest card up there right now right we don't even have the newest card but we're looking to sell them if they sell for 166 that is breaking even okay so you can see Russell Wilson's a 33,000 there's another 30,000 profit you can see here uh, wide receiver you know Richard or Justin Jefferson's low. He's the lowest right now. That'd only be a six thousand profit. Um, Sixteen thousand for Darren Waller. You can see this is pro. This is right now super profitable. That's a fifty thousand profit. So if you pull linemen, you want to pull linemen. This is probably the time you want to pull linemen. But you can see right here, this is this is pretty much all profit. So every single one of those is pretty much profit. Now let's go take a look at rising stars. We have rising stars. We actually don't want to look at the high ones uh, because we know they're going to be profitable. We want to look at the low ones. But you can see the high goes for 102 right now. Obviously, when it costs 25,674 for the roll, that's obviously a huge profit. So look at let's look at 89s. As you can see right here, 89s right now. Probably 20k is about right, but you got to look at the lowest ones you can see right there they are low they are very low right so this is a little bit of a risk on this one just a little bit not a big risk just a little risk but there is a risk to this right now uh if you pull a 90 you obviously see what you're getting here uh there's no such thing as a 91 in this so it's 89 90 or 94 and so that role is a little bit more risky let's check out veterans we're going to check out veterans. So we got the lowest one is an 89, I believe. We need the veterans to be to sell for at least 23,535 to break even. You can see right here we have a little bit higher than that, right? But it's very close. It's very close. People are catching on and doing this right now. So before you do this stuff, make sure you're checking the numbers yourself, right? You can see right here 90s are going for yeah, for 30k, that's just a little bit of a profit. 700 profit i don't see any 91s is there's that the highest they go is 90s nope 93s right there we're going for 74k so that's obviously a big profit so what you could do is re-roll it but i probably wouldn't take that much of a risk um but that's yeah let's check out team of the week or player of the week whatever you want to call it. it's team of the week here let's take a look at 89s first it's going to cost us 47,000 to do this roll so we need to make sure we're getting that Right, so let's look at 89s first. We got to find Devonte Adams and Dak Prescott. Those are the only 89s uh, out of this one. And you're looking at Dak Prescott's 45. So that would be a 2K loss, right? You can see that. Plus wide receiver. Let's look for Devonte Adams. Devonte Adams is 44. So you're looking at a 2K loss if you pull those guys. But if you pull the other ones. Uh, looks like actually those guys are cheaper. Isn't that crazy how that works? Right, you see Tyler Lock at 39k. Uh, it looks like people are catching on to this stuff. So we are going to do team of the year. That's what our plan is. Like I said, we spent 530k. We know that pretty much every one of those cards minus Justice Jefferson is a pretty good profit. But I'll be honest with you, you need to do the numbers before you do this because people are catching on. People are 100% catching on. And so I would definitely. Uh, if the numbers are there for you, definitely go ahead and do this. I'm going to do this a total of, uh, I think, four times if I can. Uh, we got Russell Wilson. We know based on what we saw, that's about a 30K profit. So that would be good. I did have 10K. Keep this in mind. I did have 10K prior. Oh, I did not want to do that. Oh, no. I just picked the wrong one. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. Well, I know I can pick a lineman and still hopefully make profit off of that. That's a, So that's <laughs> I guess that's what we're going to do. Uh, we'll go back. We're going to pick a lineman. And that was a big L on my part. That was completely my fault. We're going to check and see. That's 46,000 times that by 3.89, 178. We're going to times that by 1.1. That equals 196. So if we take any lineman, we should be good. We should be good. Uh, we're going to take 
big Quentin Nelson. That's who we're going to take. I probably could have taken him or Trent Will Trent Williams or whatever his name is. But based on what I just saw, we should have profited abruptly. Uh, well, you know what? Let's go look at the cards. Let's just look at the cards and figure it out. We know it cost us 160, almost 167,000 to do team of the year uh, for the random one. So uh, Russell Wilson sold for 179. He is not a lot, not a lot, not a lot of profit. Now we're looking at about 14k per, so that's 28,000 right there for profit plus Quentin Nelson. Now since we did it the wrong one, we're only going to profit three to four thousand. So. We profited about 35000 right there. You saw how long it took, probably 10 to 15 minutes. Now, do your numbers. Do your numbers. Do not depend on these numbers that I just gave you because they are 100% changing as we go. Will these cards go back up? Maybe. But if they go down or if they continue to do what they're doing and go down, that means training should technically start to go up a little bit right just a little bit and so I mean it, it right now it's it's a crazy world out there it's a crazy world in these streets we got to make coin however we can but this right now obviously is profitable but if training continues to go down guys these sets might be more profitable uh, because 96 can only go down so much before they're everybody's just completely stocked with them right and and so they yeah, I mean, eventually people are going to buy them for training. If they buy them for training, it's actually probably good for us. But, yeah, that's the video. Take what you want out of that. You know we're going to profit off of this. Um, hopefully that helps with the <laughs> – hopefully that helps you out a little bit because this playoffs were kind of a – kind of a bust. Kind of a bust. We bought training. Look at that, 127. Goodness, it's going to make me want to cry even more. But I'm hoping they go back up. But, I mean, if you cashed out and got what you could, more power to you. If you didn't and you're holding on like I am, let's hope and pray. Uh, I hope that's not your whole coin stack that you risked. But, I mean, if you did, sorry, guys. This might have been the first time, second time. Maybe I was wrong this. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's the video. I'll see you later.